Hello, hello, everyone. Howdy. What a wind up. All right. And, you Your know. head went so far back. It's like <laughs> you were like shooting a cannon. It was pretty good. It is. It is what it is. <laughs> and welcome back to the smoke room. The smoke room is featuring uh, Samuel from Devil May Cry. Okay. Samuel featuring Def Samuel from the Echo Project from multiverse. Echo Pro yeah, from the Echo yeah across the Echoverse. Yeah. I want a fighting game with Echo characters. Man. <laughs> I'd main chase. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think his moveset would be like? I'll probably like Kai from from Guilty Gear. Like, I feel so? like he. I feel like he's like the the fast main character. Mm -hmm. You're you Narukami like. Yeah, you know, yeah. You're mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That kind of Guilty Gear moveset. Nick is probably going to be like your Kanji or your. Um, mm, nah, no, 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 I don't think you're, he's a grappler. You don't think Nick's a I grappler? Think... He's big. Oh, Nick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think like Nick and Leah would be like the grapplers. Yeah. characters. kind of like um. What's his name from like the big guy from Guilty Gear? Uh, yeah, Potemkin. Yeah, Potemkin. Yeah. Yeah. Big old grapply guy. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have, um, you know. I feel like TJ would be like your TJ. TJ and Jenna would be like your Chun Li's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any good characters for zoning? I don't know if we can like. Duke has a gun. Heather has a gun. Yeah, there are characters that just have a gun. Yeah, you get a gun, you get a gun you're a zoning character. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Oh, man. That'd be pretty fun, I, I feel think. like uh, Brian would have to be, like, the most grappler of the grappler characters. Probably. Either that or he's the Blanca. Yeah, a little a little feral, a little, a little nasty. Wild. A little he's, bit of a nasty he's, boy. He's going in. He's charging. He in. just has electric powers for some reason. We, we go. We do it. <laughs> it's, it's literally just Blanca's moveset to a T, but with a Brian skin. You know. <laughs> you know it'd be that way. You know? It really do. Oh, man. We'll give Flynn Slayer's moveset from Guilty Gear. Yo, let's go. <laughs> I kind of want to just slap... Um, Eno's move set onto Jenna. Yeah, I could see that. Like sure. I know that doesn't entirely work because you know, like she, Jenna's not known for using the guitar. No, we'll give Cameron Cam just yeah Eno's he move set. He'll be sexy. Like, he'll be really clumsy when doing it, so it mm -hmm. won't be as like sexy as Eno. But he'll be like doing that kind of move set. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, unfortunate part is because like the obsession with big men, there would just be a lot of grapplers. Because, like, what else are you supposed to do with characters of that Well, that type? are big men, yeah. Yeah. It's true, but... It's a little bit unfortunate. It's, a... it's kind of how it goes. I could see, um... I mean, no one's really, like... Maybe you could give Nick, and, instead of, like, making him just a grappler, you can make him more like, um, Akihiko. Because he, mm. he does, like, the little... Yeah, the, the little, little fists up. I almost rate. think that's more like William. William, though. yeah, a, a, I think a William is more of like the boxer. A little bit of a boxer, yeah. yeah. From New York, he's a boxer. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> he knows how to rough it up. Yeah, you know, you know? It, it, could be it is fun. what it is. <laughs> He'd call on his persona. Oh my god, it'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> this is an awful idea. <laughs> Also, if someone crowdfund this, hey, hey, Echo Project <laughs> folks, you uh, make a fighting game. Make a fighting game, please. We'll play it. I'm bad at fighting I'll games. I'll play it on the channel. That would be so fun. I'll I'll get good. Yeah, I I won't. I'll I'll go to Evo every year to play the Echo. <laughs> you bring your computer and a screen and set it up in the parking lot. <laughs> I will I will start a fighting game because I I know a guy that does the fighting game circuit in this town. Okay, one of them. That's kind of uh, cool. Like he's always sad because like um he had to like go to school for a bit like for one semester and when he came back the community was dead because he wasn't like running it anymore mm. so he's been trying to like figure out ways to bring Get it back there back the release a uh, echo fighting game next year i can convince well, him we'll you should go. you should get back into the fighting game circuit fuck no yeah fuck no you can play fighter z and no and and guilty gear which one is which one is is it xr like strive is the oh Stri that's strive that's right that's the newest one yeah strive yeah it's four yeah that's why strive yeah yeah, you, should, you can get into Strive and get really good. See, the problem with that is I would have to not only buy base game, but the Season 2 pass. Because mm. that's where Bridget is. Why is that a problem? That's so much money. 
Eh. That's so much money. And it's just to play like, like yes, I'm glad that my, my favorite Guilty Gear character is back in the game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'd love to play her. It's but, very you know. cool. I agree. I, I enjoy that Bridget's there. <sighs> very fun i like all i'm the, glad that years. curse is broken yeah because it's the... like there was always this you can't bring back bridget that character is too uncomfortable and we came back around and i'm like that's true <laughs> like bridget as they were was a little weird mm -hmm. at least for like a japanese perspective thing right right uh Bridget was always well liked by the English community. Of course, of course. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> but they like modernized and streamlined Bridget to where like she is more acceptable across globally, mm -hmm. which is funny to think that making her trans made her more acceptable. It, it was wild. just really funny to me. It's crazy. <laughs> it's just like hmm. <laughs> and then you've got the. I mean, also, what, what, what's the name of the them that wears the the hat? The big May? black. No, there was the oh. black hat. No, May's cool. I love May. Yeah, yeah. But, like, um, their name is, like, a word. <laughs> wow. Did you know that names are words? <laughs> Yo, your name's but a word, like, my name's a word. It's a word, like, <laughs> temp it's not like it's not temptation, but it's a word like that. Justice? No. No, because Justice is the one, It's though. a new character. I can't remember what their I name is. I haven't seen the oh. role. <sighs> Hold on. I've been still at the loop of what's happening in Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear Strive... Uh, it's new. Uh, new oh DLC. my god. <laughs> Guilty Gear. Strive. Hmm? Fuck. Are you just putting fuck in there? Yeah. Yeah. Strive characters DLC. Uh, da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Where's Bridget? <laughs> All. Because I'm pretty sure it was the DLC character that was added. Dixon. I mean, it's not like not you pay Jacko. attention. No. I, I, no. But. Oh, yeah, Biken. I like yeah, Biken. Yeah. Biken's cool. People like Biken. Testament. Oh, that's who it was. Testament. Okay. Testament. Yeah, I, cool. I know Testament. Yes, Testament's yeah. cool. I like yeah, Biken yeah. a lot. But I want. Oh God, what was his name? Was his name Cliff? Guys, you know who I'm talking about. The guy from like Guilty Gear One with the the guy who trained Soul, and he had the uh like his sword was the tooth of a dragon, or some shit. He was real cool. Huh. Uh, but he was only ever like in one game. Sadly. Mm. But yeah, he he's a cool guy. What's the name of the what's the character that was it was in one of the earlier Guilty Gears? It might have been Guilty Gear like two, where it was like the really huge You mean X? Was it X? Yes, whatever. Guilty Gear two is a MOBA like. Oh, okay, then uh, no. It's not a fighting game. Okay. What's the um He's like a really big he's like a character that like you really can't beat against or whatever he like takes up half the screen darren i don't think you have enough like i'm really losing i'm pulling at it man i'm <laughs> i'm just losing my mind don't even worry Look, about we, it we know you, you're not guilty gear person. no i it's like fine i have a very 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 light interest in guilty gear <laughs> you're terrible <laughs> no, but the first thing i hear when i open the door is gunshots going off my hair stands up on my arms as I get closer to the field, I can see another foreman with a pistol uh, pointed skyward, gun smoke coming from the nozzle. And nobody seems to be on the ground or injured from what I can tell. Nah. A wave of relief comes over me when I see that Nick and the others still stand where I left them. So they did not go get Yao. Uh, the scene in front of me hasn't changed much in terms of who's standing where and how many people are afoot. But it strikes me as strange uh, how I can hear very little sound from a from a crowd that big. There's a stillness among the crowd which hasn't that which wasn't there before. What happened? Did somebody get shot? As if they dare. They fired warning shots when the crowd got too close to the entrance. <clears throat> Are they going to, to shoot somebody? I do not think so, Sam. They're cowards. He says that very calmly. But I can tell if he thinks that's true or not. They do seem to be getting the message through. Though, there's much more of us than them. So, what did the foreman say to your friend, Nick? Yeah, I want to know what he's telling him. I think there's only one thing to talk about that would make them relevant relevant nick uh, wants to find yao to help us find him you avoided the question or something boy 
Let me let them explain. They did better to talk about things directly, uh, discreetly. I figured your leader would want to hear about it too, with his own ears. Dimitri ain't our leader. We ain't got a leader. Uh, haven't you been paying attention? I don't know. There is a hierarchy here. <laughs> if like, even if it's just a social one. It does not matter what Sam calls him. If Sam says he should hear this, then he should. I know where he is. You do? Yeah. He's in a bed at the Northside Clinic. I almost had her to restrain him myself to keep him from coming out today. Once his cast sets, you know he'll be back up here. Yep. Do they allow visitors? Hmm. They let us in, didn't they? That they did. Mind taking us to him? I was gonna insist we do anyhow. Oh, there you go, kicking the... I just... shut up. This way. Uh, they balance their picket signs like soldiers. Yes. Uh, like it's, uh, soldiers would balance their muskets as they lead the way down the dirt road west into the downtown. I turned my head and muttered to Nick. But I'm surprised they didn't see... I, we didn't see Will at the rally. Just because you didn't see him doesn't mean he wasn't there. When there's workers raising up arms against their bosses, the law is always close by. God forbid it's the other way around, though. I believe that I would have seen him if he had been there. Why is that? He's big. Because I'm very tall. <laughs> Philippe looks uh, behind his shoulders and Paul spits on the ground. But really, I think that he is keeping his distance until he cannot. What makes you so sure about that? He gets distracted when he is absorbed in a case. I can attest to that as well. The last time we saw him, it seemed like his mind was elsewhere. And where was the last time you saw him? Last night, near the mines. Sam. Hey, no, it, it wasn't like that. It was looking for leads on the man who, found, who was found dead. <laughs> the man that you killed? <laughs> this voice in the head really just feel like just jumping in whenever it wants, It, huh? it reminds me of, um... The Samuel Echo during the during Leo's route. Yeah, I like that one. He was so mean to chase really the entire was. route, and I'm like, I like this. Yeah, it's quite good, <laughs> quite good. And you believe that? I think I do. Yeah. Then I've got some powerful ointment. I'd love to sell you. <laughs> oh, thanks, but I don't need medication because I ain't sick. Yeah, sure, buddy. Uh, the, the two exchange tired-looking glances. Nick clears his throat. I am not worried about William Adler. And why is that? Because the sheriff would not want to arrest us. Would not wait to arrest us if he wanted to. Uh, that's all you've got? What if he's tailing you? Then I'll catch him doing it? Life is too short to worry about things that have not yet happened. Paul grunts. Philippe faces forward and taps his shoulder with the picket sign like he uh, wants us to pick up the pace. Being... We going. Snooty. Okay. Oh, when we get to the clinic and Paul drops our names to the receptionist, we are let in no time at all. Oh, a new background! Whoa! Oh, and he's up and about. Look at him. Dim tree. He's doing it. Dim tree. The black bear has his foot in a cast, but stands when he sees us. Friends. His expression were, his expressions are just as bright and strong as I remember them, but his sound but his voice sounds tired and worn. It's a quality I rec quantity? Quality. Quality. Quality, I recognize. There's no N or a second T. Oh, look, they could be there. Uh-huh. Who knows? It could be. It's the kind of scratchiness you get in your throat after a lot of screaming. Uh, should you st should you be standing? 
Uh, sit down. <laughs> Make me. <laughs> we'll come, uh, we'll come to you. Enough of that out of you. I am not your elder, and this wound is nothing. It's gonna be something if you don't let it heal. Dimitri waves his paw in the air. The casting and the crotch will take care of that. Nick clears his throat again and steps forward. It is good to see you as well, Dimitri. Well, you say. Well enough, at least. The bear laughs. I've seen men lose their old jaws. What's a few foot digits? Doesn't that like horribly like mess with your balance going forward? It can. If you lose some toes, yeah. Because you kind of use those for balancing on your feet. Yeah. You could lose a pinky toe and be fine, but other than that, it's a little rough. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like if you use your big, lose your big toe, that's a pretty rough time. You might as well need a crutch from that on. Or a cane. Mm hmm. Remember, yeah. remember on the Amanda show, they had that one skit that was a I ongoing like don't story where her dad lost her big toe. I do not and remember tried to the glue, Amanda show. Like, I remember that the Amanda dog. show was a thing, but I don't remember any skits from it. You don't miss the Judge Moody? I think... I don't... No, 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 no. It was... The, there was a... So, one of the skits was a dramatic, like... Intentionally over dramatic, like teen show called As Told by Moody, I think. Or Moody's Point. Fuck. Something that was about like, Moody. That was like the big claim to fame for what's his name, right? Uh, Dan Rough Rider Schneider? Yeah. That was, yeah. That was his first main, his first main joint. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. I think he was also, uh, like, all, he was on All That. Yeah, and he worked on all that, and he was also like uh, he also like acted like regular in like he was in Good Burger. Mm. I think that was him, right? I think that was Dan Schneider. Was that him? I know that he was one of like the main creative people on like the Amanda Show, and like that's what got him the gig for, um, for Drake and Josh. Yeah, that and you know the whole the whole Schneider suite, if you will. Yeah, yeah. We, everyone loves the Schneider verse, right? People still like it, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I don't know if I've ever met a single person that's watched Sam and Cat or has said that they have liked Sam and Cat. I watched one episode of it. And I cannot tell you anything about it. I see. Hmm. I know more about Victorious because I watched a handful of episodes of yeah, that. Yeah, I, I watched that more as well. Uh, and was like, I got creeped out and stopped watching. Fair and reasonable. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. <laughs> See, I haven't watched it as an adult. You know what I mean? I was creeped out as a late teenager it was, watching it. It was a little strange. I didn't really think too much of it, but also I wasn't, even as a late teenager, I wasn't watching a lot of TV. Okay. Yeah. Like, because uh, iCarly was really bad about it, but never, like, as but Like, Victorious Victor has no he, filter. He there really, was like, no filter with Victorious. He towed that line so hard. <laughs> oh, he towed all right. He... <laughs> I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Jesus Christ. There's, there, oh, there's too many. Oh, I know. Like, things that he did with the girls' oh, feet oh, I in know. that show. Yeah. And just like, and you can get, you get to the season in which they turn 18. And you know when you get to the season Ooh. in which the girls turn 18. <laughs> that 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 thin veil, that thin parchment paper sheet that was acting as the barrier, that shit is torn away. <laughs> really shit is gone. Is. It still has to be arable for like children's. It's television, still Y seven. But we are like going. We are we are taking t like TV PG <laughs> and like pushing that line. It's pretty bad. We are adjust. We are writing the new standard. Right, right. Where's uh, my Where's my victorious reunion movie? Uh, like, straight to Paramount Plus. Like actually, well, may, I mean the iCarly reboot did decent enough. Maybe they'll do did a victorious. It? I've I've heard that it did pretty decent. Okay. I don't think it's I don't think it's still airing as far as new episodes. I think it got a new season. I can't recall. I don't remember. I thought I saw an ad. Mm. Is 
what I'm thinking, but no. maybe it, it no. could it could be. I could I it's could I could probably look into it. No. I am always kind of sad that Jeanette McCarty didn't come back, but I understand why. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> she's never coming back to acting. Oh, ever, never. <laughs> she doesn't need to. Her comedy's really good. Yeah. And she's got a really good book. Yeah, she she's doing her thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm surprised they got as many people to come back as they did. Yeah. Because I think um, Jerry Trainer, the guy who played Spencer, yeah, he was a main creative lead mm -hmm. on the new reboot. I think. Yeah, so it's like it was like the actor for him, Freddie and Carly were the main ones to return, right? Because Gibby's yeah. actor didn't. Return. No, he didn't come back. I don't think anyone else really did. Yeah, I mean but, that's but that, like, that was kind of that was the cast though. Yeah, it was basically the three kids: Spencer, Gibby. Give me in the later seasons. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's really no weird, one else that yeah. was a regular regular. Mm -hmm. There was the guy from the, 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 the smoothie place that they hung out at that always put stuff on a stick. Yeah. Um, I wonder if he shows up in the new series. He might. I don't know. That's probably a, a semi-easy cameo to get. I would think so. Yeah. He probably would do it. What an odd... Yeah, what a time. Hmm. Yeah. Thanks for coming to the iCarly cast, everybody. Oh, no. We, you have Paramount Plus. We do. There we go. Oh, my we'll God. We'll start doing the iCarly podcast. You don't want to do everyone. more as told by Ginger? Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do an episode a month. Oh, my <laughs> so God. How's that? No, we'll do Victorious. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't. <laughs> Your tenacity is astonishing. <laughs> I counted more than a thousand men at the rally. You can take Yell for that. Uh, can I? He and his friend have contacts with the press. The old one that burned down? The other one. On the east side of downtown. The last one, you mean? Well, yeah. There's always got, there's always got to be somebody to push out the morning paper. <laughs> Until dry season. If that one goes up in ash, another will pop up sooner or later, no? Nick shifts his weight from one foot to another. Uh, there is something I need to ask you, if I may. You may. He looks as uh, so uncomfortable with this many eyes on him. Do you happen to know where Yao might be right now? The two of you are still thicker than blood, eh? <laughs> Leave it to Nikolai Crow to visit me in the clinic after... To ask me where Feng Yao Lin is off to. Uh, I did not mean any disrespect. Uh, his deep laugh is a lot more raspy today than I've ever heard it. And I am sure that you mean none. It has been a long night, is all. Night? Day. Eh. He is just a bit single minded. Always has been. Wow. Oh, wow. There's no need to mock him. Uh, but it's funny. No, no. I deserve this. I think you should tell him what to do less and tell Dimitri what you were talking about the uh, talking about the foreman. Considering that was your excuse not to talk about it. Uh, he keep, what? If he keeps pushing me, I might start pushing back. <sighs> yes. Uh, but Nick has a look in his eyes. <laughs> he seems to say don't. All right. I'll talk to you about what he said. At least the parts that are relevant to them. I don't want to mention the buzz in the lines that uh, gets worse the deeper you go, or the reaction he had to me when he, lo when he looked at me. Dimitri's ears perk up at the statement of bemusement. What business would the... Would you have tampering with the explosives? None. Because I didn't. It was that damn yellow dog. <laughs> I'd bet my life on it. Oh, that might happen. Oof. But uh, there was only one stick that was tampered with. Uh, how did he know the one that would uh, be the one you'd pick? There are ways to go about it. So we're not, so we're on the same page, Fen? We are. Could somebody explain it to me, then? Uh, the hare nods quickly. 
there are tricks to make you pick one piece of dynamite over another if there's uh, only one in the bag. If one piece is longer or shorter or thicker, you're more likely to touch it first when your hand reaches into the bag. Or if he only missed uh, messed with one stick, he didn't have to make it a I didn't have to make it a different shape. He just needed to wait for one of us to pick it eventually. Then boom. He could have just gotten lucky uh, that it happened to be the first one that got picked out of the bag. More like unlucky. Made it damn obvious he was the one who did it. Would have been much harder to pin it on him if uh, there were more time between the incidents and he had an alibi. But why would the foreman suspect Sam? Because you're new. I was vexed by that line of thinking too. It tells us something, doesn't it? It does. Being? If Ben planted the bomb, then nobody told Beckett. So either he is acting completely on his own, or... Or somebody is giving Ben instructions and isn't telling the foreman. Dimitri's eyes sparkle. He was... He has wanted that promotion for a while now, yes? Desperate men are easy to influence, don't you agree? I see. Unfortunately, I am harder to kill than that. <laughs> and because I was available to get my message out to the papers, I have assured that our response was robust. I will return to work as quickly as possible. The corner of his mouth upturns slightly. If Ben receives blame publicly, we will know where his orders came from. But I suspect we already do. Everybody shuffles around a bit, either uncomfortable with the implications or the reaffirmation reaffirmed uh, by them. I myself have never met a group of men who keep who could keep track of so many different hypotheticals in my life. <laughs> uh, it's like everyone's turning into William. Oh. Good, good. No, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Right. Now that's a. <clears throat> now that's out of the way. Are you gonna tell me where Yao stole in you? Wait, where a Yao stole off to or not? The rally is already a success. I told them to take it easy. As it happens, we all should. Let's all meet at the stack, shall we? Oh, you haven't been there in a while. That barn near Lake Emma. I like this plan. I give Nick an incredulous look, and he raises his arm and scratches the back of his head nervously. It's a great place to have conversations, Sam. Lots of noise and privacy. Cheers to that. I'd rather you stay here. Come now. I'll buy you drinks for you. I can buy my own drinks. I can't buy you a new foot. Though, I could sculpt you a peg if you're so determined to lose it. If we have to get him drunk to keep him away from work and keep him off his leg, then so be it. Let's grab our things and get to the stag, boys. I feel like this is going to be a bad idea. What do you mean? I don't know. Just a hunch. Eh, it's fine. After all of this walking back and forth, I hope these men trust me. If we're going to go back to get that gold, that means we're going to have to go back to the mines at some point or another. We need people on our side if we want to last until then. I just hope this will be enough. Oh. Oh, we see it in the daytime. Daytime. I like it. I like it. Wow. Hell yeah. That's so nifty. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh, the way the barn isn't as uh, slow as I thought it would be. Uh, Dimitri is keeping a steady pace despite his crutch. Uh, there's dancing and drinking and people throwing men metal horseshoes at poles outside. I like playing horseshoes. It's of course really you fun. do. It's fun. It smells like a fresh hay, a sweet malt, and sawdust, my favorite. Uh, plus that slightly unpleasant layer of body order you get when there's too many people in one place. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's uh, the sawdust. <laughs> I don't see that tiger anywhere. Nick, could I have a word with you? And he looks to the group as um, they, the group we arrive with. You don't mind, gentlemen. Well, now that you mention it... The bear cuts him off. Not at all. <laughs> we'll be in the usual spot. Of course, of course. <laughs> Paul gives a look before climbing up the ladder to the barn above. Philippe and Dimitri follow. Me and Nick find a or rather... Wait, find a rather by the rafter? rafter? Rafter. Not rather. Okay, rafter. By the dance hall where we made a wa wade? Wade through a wall of people to find a seat. Nick, I could have sworn the last time we came here there wasn't half this many people. The music and the sound of the voices are so loud I can barely talk to talk at a low shout and people still couldn't understand what I was saying. Thankfully, that's what I want right now. This is the first time in months. Some of these men have had the free time to come because of the strike. Is Yell the kind of man who enjoys free time? What's that supposed to mean? I mean, he looks uh, pretty uh, rattled last night. We haven't seen him since. He wouldn't leave without talking to me. But how do you know that? The same way I knew you'd eventually tell me the worst thing you did. Trust. Hmm. I can tell him. I can tell when a man has character. Frankly, I don't think I would have trusted somebody like myself to have like, any character. No offense. He pats my back. And yet you're here right now. I guess. So no matter how we look at it, I'm right. Wow. You look awfully smug about it. What is the value in modesty? His smirk grows wider. We should probably... We should be proud of the things we're good at. Sometimes if we don't praise ourselves, nobody else will. I put my hand on his thigh. You don't have to tell me twice. Uh, Sam, whether you... You know, I can feel you get warmer when I praise you. Uh, don't you? Oh, he's got a praise king. He loves being told he's a good boy. Oh, oh my shit. god, Nikki boy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're better than this. Is he? No. It's as simple as telling him that he's such a good boy and he just gets him rock hard. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> he shudders a bit and lowers his voice. Sam. Oh, he's got a blushy. He's a blushy. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's already heating up like a furnace. So I give him a squeeze. But then he starts shaking me and pointing. Look. What? My voice sounds a little harsher than I meant it to be. I follow the direction of his claw and see a large striped tail lead out of the, ex out of the exit of the barn. We both sit up and follow it, uh, going past the door. Where's this background? It's the outs it's the outside of the barn of the barn, I guess. More barn space. So much barn. I assume this is not the stag. Hmm. hmm, hmm. I assume this is other buildings around. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, because we're coming out of it. Yeah, directly. To you. Direct to you. You did make that motion. I did make the motion with my hands. Directly, you know, echo direct, you know. They should do an echo direct. No. Yeah, for their announcements. Man, like come the... On Pro come on, Pro echo project. Let's go. <laughs> the uh, the the absolute, I want to see, like, Neko Gishi 2 shown in a direct. Yeah. For no other reason than the embarrassment. Because be that's the one that's most likely, because it is coming out on Switch at some point. Mm -hmm. And that's the one that's like, yes, that will be embarrassing if it shows up in a direct. Oh. And I want that. I kind of do also want that. That would be pretty good, I think. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> anyway, I think we will end the part here. Okay. You know, yeah. we, did, we did some things. We met back up with Dimitri. He's, he's up and about. Yeah. 
don't know how how good that's gonna go for him but. look i can't wait to refine out that um benny isn't real and he is the spider monster <laughs> he just transforms in yeah. front of sam he's like yo what's up wow <laughs> that's his that's his joker moment yeah <laughs> oh <laughs> Benny wants to be red pilled so bad. He really does. He wants to be based red pilled and Joker fied. He really does. He's and you know what I'm rooting for him. He's such a tryhard. Right. What a guy. Anyway, I guess we'll see you guys around. Bye. <laughs>